Big news in the world of power meters, especially if you like your on and off-road riding, is that Rote have released their all new Inspider power meter. Now there's lots to go over, but without doubt the most interesting feature of the unit is that you can use it on your road and mountain bike in one by and two by setups. Obviously you would need two sets of rotor compatible cranks for this, but the idea that you can use the same unit between bikes and know that your watts are totally accurate is really good. Many riders also opt for slightly longer cranks on one discipline compared to the other. So often cross country riders will use 175 mil cranks on their cross country bike, whereas on their road bike, you often find them running WAS 7 2.5 or 170 mil cranks. So with this new power meter, that's not gonna be a problem. As you'd expect from Rota, you can use their Inspider with or without their Q-rings, and it can be used with 30 mm or 24 mm spindles. The claim weight of the Spider is 149 grams, so it doesn't weigh too much, and the cost, and I'm gonna need my notes for this, is 649 euros, $730, and 585 pounds. I'm gonna put my notes down now. Now remember that is just for the Spider, so you will need to buy a set of rotor cranks to run it on your bike. And if you wanted to run it on two bikes, as I said before, you would need to buy two sets of rotor cranks. Now that does push the cost up quite some bit. And you might be thinking, well, I could buy two stages power meters, one for the road, one for the mountain bikes, and it'd cost about the same or a bit less. But I don't think that's the most fair comparison with a stages power meter that's a single sided unit. So it only measures the left leg and then doubles it for a total value. Obviously this can be slightly inaccurate because if you have one leg stronger than the other, your watts aren't gonna be quite right. With the Inspider, it obviously measures it from the Spider, which means you get a much truer picture of your watts. With that in mind, a more fair comparison would be to something like a Quark or an SRM Spider-based power meter. Now they don't have a unit that would be able to switch between road and mountain bike. So if you wanted to have an SRM on your road and mountain bike, you would have to buy two. So in that sense, the Rota Inspider doesn't seem quite as bad value compared to those two units. Considering the fact that you can run this on your road bike and your mountain bike, you're probably wondering about chainring sizes. And this is where the Inspider, I think, slightly loses out. On the road side of things, it's not too bad and you can run nearly every chainring combination you could think of. So from 40 to 50 tooth in one by setups and from 34 to 54 in double setups. But, on the mountain bike side, the smallest chainring you can run is a 34 tooth. Now for pro riders, a 34 tooth isn't too bad. In fact, it's probably too small, but for amateurs like me who like to spin up a climb and have small weedy legs, a 34 tooth chainring is pretty big. So yeah, if you like to spin and you run something like a 32 or even a 30 for those long marathon races, I wouldn't recommend the Inspider because you cannot run a small chainring. However, it is compatible with nearly every BB standard. And again, I'm gonna leave my notes for this. You've got BB92, BB98, BSA, BB30, and PF30. Finally, just like Rotor's two in power power meter, it comes with a fully rechargeable internal battery, which means no fiddly ports for kind of replacing watch batteries or AA batteries and stuff like that. Obviously, this is a really new product, so we haven't had time to test it yet. And when you do test a power meter, you're gonna need a long time to test it, to test things like its durability and its accuracy. But I guess one thing I can say is that I've used a lot of the Rotor products before, a lot of their power meters, and they're always fairly tough, they last a long time, and the watts are reasonably accurate compared to the competition. So I'm hoping the Inspider is just the same, but for now, we cannot comment, it's just claims from Rotor. <laughs> So that is Rotor's Inspider power meter. Perhaps not quite as exciting as their latest 1x13 hydraulic group set release, but I think the modularity shows some real forward thinking from Rotor, and it's a great example of a brand putting the riders first. I mean, who wouldn't want a product that they can run on their road and their mountain bike, and even their gravel bike or their cross bike? That is just my opinion. What do you guys think? Have Rotor created a really nice product here, or have they missed the mark? As always, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell button so every time we upload a video, you get a notification. Bye.